Hello, Mr. Barton here, and welcome to another edition of the TES Secondary Maths Resource of the Week. Now, what a classic I've got for you here. I'm hoping by the time you see this video, we're probably coming up to uh, GCSE exam time, and you've probably got a couple of lessons left, or maybe even you're watching this between um, paper one and paper two or something like that, and you're thinking, flipping heck, what I would love is to revise the whole of algebra really, really quickly. Well, Fear not, because wait till you see this resource. Revision rounds. Now, don't worry about this bit. At Excel Pearson Chapter 2A, I don't have that textbook, um, but this is still a directly relevant resource. Because what it is, it's a revision race, complete with answers, which I'm certainly very pleased to hear, and it covers all the basic algebra skills. Not only in a fun and engaging way, which is often the case with revision races, but what I particularly like about this one is the structure of it. Hopefully you'll see what I mean when I crack it open. So it consists um, of two PDF files, one with the questions, one with the answers, and let's take a look at the questions. So firstly, you're gonna save a load of money on photocopying because it only takes up two pages with each of the rounds, uh, just nice little small things here. So you print them out, cut round those, bit of guillotine action, and there's round one. Can students work their way through those? So we get some nice expanding brackets. Look at the progression, I like this. Single brackets, this thing here, how many times have my kids gone wrong with that? They don't have the flipping clue what it means. Then we get some nice single brackets with a different coefficient there, the classic squared thing, then with double brackets, and then we get those weird twisty brackets there. So the idea is you give that out to students, they rattle through that, you um, sit at the front, have a cup of tea, and then when they come to the front, uh, show you their answers, uh, you can quickly mark them. And I'm gonna to come to uh, some suggestions by the author about what you, uh, different ways you can actually deal with these um, towards the end of the video. Let me just show you the rest of the rounds first. So once they've done that, then we move on to algebraic substitution. And it's beautiful, what a choice of questions here. We've got the minuses, we've got all the different types of, of questions that they may encounter. Then we get some factorizing, and I love the progression again, single brackets to double brackets. And then it goes a bit more extreme, so harder factorizing. Look at that one, can students cope with that? Look at that, 81x squared take four, beautiful. Now I like this one as well, expressions, equations, formula, identities, uh, potentially new spec GCSE. Then we get uh, using the SUVAP formulas, which we know is gonna be part of the new spec, and the kids don't necessarily need to know what um, those mean, but they do need to be able to use them and substitute values in, so that's ideal. Then we get some solving linear equations, more extreme factorizing. Now this is what I wanted to talk about. Notice how the progression means that if kids don't get up to rounds eight, nine, and 10, it doesn't matter. If you don't even wanna show them them, it doesn't matter at all. They've got all the basics in as they work the way down. So really tricky factorizing. A um, little bit more factorizing there and a little bit more factorizing there. I'll tell you what, by the, by the end of this, your kids will be factorizing experts. But notice before they get to there, they've done solving, they've done substitution, they've done identifying expressions, they've done factorizing. Um, and they've done expand them. So lovely, lovely, lovely resource. Now, this was the bit I just wanted to draw your attention to. Some really nice ideas on the resource page here. Depending on the ability, I give different guidance. So when them students come to the front um, to show you their answers, for top groups, uh, the uh, resource author says how many are incorrect, doesn't identify which one, and for lower ability, points out which one need, uh, needs to be done. Um, and this is a nice touch as well creates an accuracy prize because there's a danger with these just like there's a danger with anything whether a competition element that speed trumps everything and students don't take that extra second just to have a look at it and think am i doing this right so that's a nice idea penalizing inaccuracy or, or uh, rewarding accuracy and so on. But I just thought this was a lovely resource. Personally, I'll be using it with year 11. There's nothing stopping you using this with tens and nines and so on, but what a great way to just practice the basics of algebra in a fun, engaging, and not draining on your time or, or your resources or photocopying bill or anything like that. I just thought it was lovely. So hopefully you'll find that useful and come along here, share your review, share your thoughts if you like it, and I'll see you for a fresh resource of the week next week. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now.